Well, I mean, now I wouldn't go hiking alone. Right. Okay. <laughs> Even though it was broad daylight and I heard other people on the trails and stuff. Which, which you would think would be very safe. Broad daylight, exactly. what's going to happen to me in Pacific the daylight? Pacific Palisades, Absolutely nothing. Topanga State Park. Yeah. You know, that's the thing. Our state parks, were, are, you know, should be safe. Somebody said to me, oh, you should have sued the park. Somebody was not doing their job. But I didn't want to do that because why go and... Um, Sue a park, you know, right. because <laughs> I'm fighting for parks and for nature preserve and for, um, but it is true, you think our parks are going to be safe. Um, I'm a firm believer that um, all women should have martial arts lessons and self defense lessons. If it were up to me, like if I could just wave a magic wand for the Board of Education, I would have in junior high school all women taking self defense for right. PE and all men taking yoga, <laughs> well, or all boys taking yoga, <laughs> to balance them. <laughs> far off, I think, but OK. Yeah, That's but that positive would be. thinking. <laughs> well, like I said, magic wand. Yeah, if I could exactly. Make that happen. Although, probably, it, would be, it wouldn't be as difficult to get the women's self-defense right. in there. But I mean, for, for the guys too. to get them to doing something that's a little more channeling, channeling the testosterone, and for women to have self-defense. And if I ever have a daughter, as a child, I will have her in self-defense starting. I mean, not self-defense, but a martial arts. So yeah. it's fun for the kid right away. Well, that's what I think is so fascinating is that you always hear stories about these kind of things happening to everybody else, and you don't realize that, OK, it can actually happen to you. And it can actually happen to some, you don't have to go overseas for it to happen to you. You don't right. have to go to another state. You know, it can happen in broad daylight, unfortunately. and. Um, I don't want to, you know, scare people off from going anywhere right, in broad right. daylight. But I think a main point is to be aware and to be conscious of where you're going, and that there are other people around you. And I, you know, listen to your instincts if you know you're feeling a little awkward or mm -hmm. whatnot. But I think it's also fascinating that even when you were down, you were still able to fight back. And how do you think that that was? Well, I mean, I think because I had a lot of anger, but I was determined. I was determined not to be raped. I mean, to me, I would rather die than be raped. And um, for women who have been raped, uh, whatever they had to go through, that's, you know, I'm not saying, oh, they should have fought till their right. death. I'm not saying that at all. But I'm saying in the future for anybody, if that situation comes up, I really believe fight to the death. <laughs> I do because chances are they're going to kill you anyway. I mean, I was up there in, yeah. in the park. He would have, you know, he just would have buried me to get, killed me and buried me to get rid of the evidence. So I really believe, and, and I think rape is so scarring that, um, that it's, it's just, it's, it's, it, it cannot be worth right. living. And I think if you do fight to the death, that you have more of a chance to survive this. And I want women to know that they always have an out. Because like I said, the tongue is a sensitive right. on everybody, no matter there's what the size. There's always somewhat, I mean, there's always some sensitive part on mm -hmm. A male where you know there's you can get a access to yeah. something, and I do think self-defense class is very important. I took one, and it's amazing the things that you learn that you don't. I mean, that you really don't Even think, think of. of. Yeah, and it just opens your mind to things that you're like, oh well, I never thought that, or I wouldn't think that he would do that, or right. stuff like that. And it allows you also to become more aware of people around you. I'm not talking about be paranoid. Right. Like when you're walking down the street, you know, be totally paranoid about everyone and everything. I'm just talking about when you're walking to your car, mm -hmm. you know, be aware of who's around you, how close they are, what right. kind and of what things you, you have access to. For your weapons, you know, yeah, you have your keys, you know, you have those, you have weapons with you. and. Um, and people don't, and I think a lot of women don't realize that they do. I mean, they just walk to their car, you know, at night thinking, hmm, right. you know, I'm just got to get to my car and get inside and, right. and go. But also, I find it interesting that, you know, I was thinking when you said campsite, I was thinking, oh, there's going to be people around. Right, exactly. Go ahead, go to this campsite. You'll right. definitely feel secure. And then it's like, okay. Um, that's not really the campsite I was right. thinking. And it, it turned out, of course, it was his camp. But for a while there when we were fighting, I thought it was some hippie is going to come back with a dog. Some hippie, some nice hippie is going to come back. Exactly. And I think halfway through the fight, I said to him, Bill, is this, your, is this your campsite? And he said, yes, it is. And that was when I thought, now I'm doomed because there's no chance that this person whose campsite it is is going to come back. <laughs> yeah, because it's his and he's right here, right, unfortunately. Right, right. And it's all me. Well, and not only you had all this anger inside of you, but you had a lot of adrenaline that had to be going that mm -hmm. just said, you know, get this out. Now, did you report the crime? Yeah, he was found right away, actually. Um, my homicide detective said that, um, that actually in all his years in homicide, he hadn't seen someone fight back like that because he was surprised, too, that I 
you know, had been beat over the head with the trowel and didn't pass out. And the um, charges were assault with a deadly weapon, which really is the equivalent to attempted murder, but when they say assault with a deadly weapon, that brings it down to here, which is one of my martial arts instructors said he mm. hates that, that charge because he says it's really attempted murder, but they're taking yeah. it down to this level. So assault with a deadly weapon, attempted rape, and battery. And they found the guy right away because his tongue was, was a, there was a hole in the tongue and he was walking down PCH, you know, and had this, his whole mouth was swollen. Oh my gosh. And so they found him right away and um, it was actually the, the people of California versus him and I was just the witness. So it wasn't me persecuting him. Right. And, um, and both DAs, even the one who was defending him, she didn't really want to defend him. Um, they both said the best thing is if we put him in the mental institution for the criminally insane. Right. Because if we put him in jail with those charges, he could get out in six months, which is why mm. assault with a deadly weapon <laughs> is not a good charge. Six because, months. Yeah. Ugh. I mean, if it's attempted murder, you know, you're charged with a lot more time. But assault with right. a deadly weapon is just a way of knocking that down. That's a whole other story. Six yeah. months for that, for yeah. all of that. Yeah. I mean, they said it could be longer, but you but. don't know. They said maximum four years. Um, but they said with a mental institution, you really don't know because unless he proves himself sane, with you know the mental prisons like the right. criminally insane, unless he proves himself sane, they may never let him out. And I've actually worked mm -hmm. doing theater therapy in um, a place for the criminally insane with people who've been there for 30 years, you know, because they're never let out because if they're not proven, you know, right. able to function. Oh my gosh, that's interesting. So you decided to put him in the mental. So that's what the DA said is oh, okay. the best thing. I mean, I really had so no choice. So you didn't have a say in it then? Yeah, I didn't. I was just telling the story because it was the people of California versus him, prosecuting him. So, um, but that sounded good to me because he really was nuts. I mean, he was really out there. I mean, he never seemed like a person to me, which is why I never felt any anger towards him. He just felt like a wild beast had attacked me. Because you didn't feel anger towards him after the fact? No, I felt a lot of other things about, I mean, like fear. What? and mm. I, I felt a lot of fear and a lot of hypervigilance and just paranoia. But he was so out there. I mean, it would have been different had I been on a date with somebody right. and, and they tried this, I would have had anger towards them, but he was not human. He was like a tiger had attacked me. Right. And I don't know if people have been attacked by tigers if they're angry at tigers, you know, it's right. like this beast. It's almost like a freak of nature. So what do you want to tell people out there, your main message to tell women? My main message is for women is you can fight. You can fight back no matter how small. Like, I'm not that big. Yeah, and this no, guy you're was not. Huge. <laughs> you can fight and to always fight back. I mean, I really think that people think, oh, it'll just make them angrier. No. Fight back. There's always How a can they be angrier? I mean. Exactly. They're... Exactly. Thank you. Exactly. If they're already doing all this, I mean, what? I mean, I don't see that getting them angrier is going to worse the you know make the situation any worse. So. Exactly. Thank exactly. you so much for joining us Thank today, you. Christina, and sharing your story. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. If you guys have any questions, you can feel free to email me in the e email that will be provided in the credits, and we'll see you next time on Jessica. Thanks. Mm -hmm.